An average school morning goes a little like this for me. First, I overdose on coffee to keep me awake throughout the day. Then I go to my desk, light up a candle so that my brain releases some serotonin. Then I spend a solid 30 minutes on my computer doing the following. I actually recently started to make the gym a part of my morning routine. I change into my workout clothes. This workout set is actually from Set Active. I'll make sure to link it down below. I'm gonna admit, I suck at filming at the gym. I was hoping to record my workout for you guys, but that didn't end up happening. So instead, I typed out my workout here on the screen. This is everything that I did on this day. Okay, so I just got out of the shower right now and I need to start getting ready because I have a class in about an hour from now. So I'm gonna be doing my skincare really quickly then just putting on makeup and like a cute outfit. I actually need to go to the library today. One of my teachers is requiring us to get a book for the class. And um, I was supposed to get this book at the beginning of the semester, but I kept procrastinating and held it off to the very last minute and I need to get it by tomorrow. So that is what we're gonna be doing today before my class starts. I'm just gonna finish getting ready right now and play a podcast while I do that. And if you guys could, please leave me some good podcast recommendations in the comments below. I need some new ones to listen to. Good morning, Capricorn. Today is Thursday, November 11th. So I just changed into my outfit, but before I leave, I'm just quickly gonna be making myself some breakfast right now. So let me go do that really quickly. As soon as I finished breakfast, I started heading out right away. I was on a time crunch at this point. I didn't realize how late it was getting. My class was about to start soon, but I needed to go get the book that I mentioned earlier. So I made this super quick. Once I finished up at the bookstore, I head to my first class, which I obviously couldn't vlog in. I attended all the rest of the classes that I had this morning, then I went back home. Okay, just got back home right now from my classes, which were super painful by the way, but we got through them. When I got home, I had a few packages waiting for me in the mail. I am so excited because I got my package from Beginning Boutique today. They sent me so many cute pieces that I need to show you guys. I did also want to thank Beginning Boutique for sponsoring today's video. Beginning Boutique offers afterpay unique days and free express shipping on all eligible orders so the first thing that i have here is this brown leather blazer jacket type thing at this point i do own a leather jacket in every color imaginable this one is just perfect for the winter time next i got this big chunky colorful knit sweater this thing is so soft and comfy we got this cute little brown bodysuit i love these types of tops in the winter time because sometimes crop tops could just be unbearable in the freezing cold. I've been on the lookout for the perfect pair of mom jeans and I think I might have just found them. I need more jeans like this in my closet. I got two really cute dresses. One is in green and the other in brown. Just look at how beautiful this green dress is. The silky material of this is undefeatable. This time of the year probably wouldn't be appropriate for a dress like this, but trust me, pair this with a cute blazer and you got yourself a fall look. The other dress that I got is more like a slip dress. It has this beautiful lace trimming along the entire thing. So I came across these pants. Thought that they were the coolest thing ever, specifically because of this little tie moment that we have going on here. I have no idea what you
you call this. These are slightly flared at the bottom. I have this little basic baby blue crop top. I love the color of this so much. Then I just got this other brown little top as well. I do appreciate that the material of this is super stretchy because it fits so much more comfortably. I thought this dress was really cool. It's kind of like a shirt dress. Random. But I also got these really cute white frilly socks. And then the last thing that I have here is this black button up mesh top. That is all for the haul. I will have links to everything I showed in the description as well as my discount code. part of my daily routine it does consist of me sitting in bed for hours editing and doing homework in several different positions all while my body begins to feel like it's dying on the inside from my horrible posture but it's okay because i do it for you guys hashtag hacker things After three whole hours of straight editing and doing homework, I finally decided to take a break. And since I actually got so much done, I decided to treat myself. What's new? <music> It is 6.30. I am so happy right now. I decided to treat myself because after spending so much time being productive today, getting all my work done, I wanted to stop by one of my favorite shops in Little Tokyo in LA. If you guys are in the area, you should totally go check it out. They basically sell a variety of authentic fresh mochi. I don't want to mispronounce the name of the store, so I'll just put it here on the screen. Their mochi is so cute. I got a pack of six. I'm so excited. I am going to be saving these for when I get home tonight. I want to eat these while I'm watching my show. I can't help myself. I want to bite into one. Mmm, I love this. Just one more bite. That is enough. I will be eating more of these tonight when I get home. But right now, it is actually getting late. I actually have plans to get dinner with my friend tonight. We're gonna be getting ramen, and I'm looking up the directions right now. Literally, I've had my license for like two years now, and I still can't get places without the maps. That is so embarrassing for me. Okay, my phone and camera are about to die. Great. We're gonna go, and I'll see what footage I can get, but if I don't get much, I'm very sorry about that. I literally have you guys propped up on like three books right now. We're gonna have to make this work. So I am back home now and I am sitting on my bean bag right now. I want to take this last part of my day for myself. Okay, I'm gonna have to spend the rest of the night doing homework and editing. Okay, the editing is more enjoyable, but homework? That's gonna be so painful. I don't even want to think about it right now. And to be more specific, I need to study for my English essay that I'm gonna be writing in class tomorrow that I am not mentally prepared for. Anyways, I have my little setup here. I'm gonna be watching Gilmore Girls while eating my mochi. And then while I'm watching my show, I'm going to be crocheting my cat a hat. I've been working on this little hat for like the past two days now and I am so proud of it. Look at how cute this is coming along. It's a little strawberry hat. He needs to embody these strawberry cat vibes. Just look at her. Unfortunately, my cat is not pink, but at least he'll have the strawberry hat. Then I have my mochis here which I'm gonna finish eating. I already ate some off of camera. They're just too good. just finished an episode and I also just finished the strawberry cat hat. Look at how cute this is. I cannot get over this. So I made it have these two holes here for his ears. I put the little leaf on top. These are supposed to be like the seeds and then the strap to go around his head. And then I just added these cute little pom-pom things at the ends here for that cute extra touch. Anyways, let me go get Moose. Moose! I 
I made you a strawberry hat. That was everything for this video. My day in the life vlogs are always so chaotic and all over the place, but all I did for the rest of the night was literally study, which is pretty boring and I'm pretty sure you guys wouldn't want to see that. If you guys want to see more videos like this, make sure to like and subscribe. That is all and bye!